Hello everyone. Now let's see about an interesting psycho psychology topic named locus of control. Locus of control is an individual's belief system regarding the cause of his or her experience and the factors to which that person attributes success or failure. It is generally whatever happens to a person, they attribute that uh, consequence either to an internal factor or to an external factor. The external factor could be either a uh, luck, success, or a person or a situation. The internal factor. The internal factors could be their health, their ideas, attitude, their habit, performance, etc. So let's move on to the characteristics of person with internal locus of control. The individuals who identify with an internal locus of control tend to take more responsibility for their actions, whether those actions or end results are good or bad. These are the characteristics of person with external locus of control. They identify themselves with uh, everything around them as a part of their success or failure. In many ways, they believe in the team aspect more than those that focus on their internal locus of control. As they will always praise those around them for a job well done, even if they had nothing to do with it at all, they are a very good team player. So there are some drawbacks with both the characteristics. So an internally focused person will be hard on themselves and constantly analyze what they did wrong. That perspective almost forces these individuals to be hard char chain charging driven individuals that are at times can assume a take no prisoners attitude. Those that have an external locus may come off as someone who just does not accept responsibility. While they are and can be team players, the result is not a positive one. They will be the first to complain that something outside their personnel. So, he is Julian B. Rotter. He is the proponent of this concept called locus of control. So local, locus of control, it is not a typology. It represents a continuum, not either or proposition. Because locus of control is a generalized expectancy, it will predict people's behavior across situation. So everyone tend to, in one or other situation, tend to uh, switch between these two. But one, one of these will be dominant. So there are certain measures to assess your in, locus of control. So internal external locus of control scale, forced choice scale, intellectual aspiration of responsibility scale, rotter sentence completion test, rotter's locus of control scale. So there is a new term called bilocal. People that have the combination of the two types of locus of control are often referred to as bilocal. People that have bilocal characteristics are known to handle stress and cope with their diseases more efficiently by having the mixture of internal and external locus of control. So these are this is a locus of control circle. This is a realistic perspective of how, what are the things we can control which are mentioned in the inner circle and the things which are beyond our control that are mentioned on in the outside circle. So thank you.